the RV-6, the most popular Vans aircraft with over 2,300 built and flown since 1985. And I get to play in one. The first thing I notice about the RV-6 is this huge canopy. I don't know about you, but normally when I fly, I've always got my face squished attractively up against the window, trying to see through those pokey little holes. And generally, I'm disappointed. So I can't wait to get up in the air and see what the view's like. Also, being a woman, something very important to me when I fly is lots of room for luggage. So let's have a look in here. Quite a good little space. And as I can put up to 60 pounds of stuff in here, I should be all right. I really don't know why people find it so unreasonable that I need a different pair of shoes for every outfit. Well, that's my two requirements sorted, but what about how it actually flies? All I need now is someone to take me up. Ah, oh, perfect. Hi there, Dave. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. So what can I expect going up today? You're going to really enjoy this. It's going to be a nice flight today. Can't wait. Let's get going. that I can't see in front of me. Doesn't it make it a little hard to take off when you can't see? Um, yeah, you can't see directly ahead, but you can when you taxi, you can zigzag from side to side so you can actually see where you're going. And when you're taking off, you push the nose forward, um, lift the tail up, and you can actually see where you're going from then on. Because in the RV6A, there's actually a nose wheel, isn't there? So you That's can right. see. Is that not better? Um, some people like nose wheels, some people like tail draggers. I prefer tail draggers myself. And why would that be, Dave? Well, tail draggers are a man's plane, aren't they? Ah, oh, that's how it is. And off we go. Let's see how quickly this baby can take off. And we're off! Brilliant. Whoa! Up we go! What's the climb speed in one of these? Uh, we're climbing at 2,000 feet a minute at the moment. You still, uh, you still really can't see in front of you, can you? Like, I've got instruments, I am sure. Oh, yeah, you can see <laughs> <laughs> all these clouds and what kind of height do would you normally cruise at in an RV6? Um, when we're going long journeys abroad we normally fly at about 9,000 feet any higher than that um, it starts to get a bit cold it's good for fuel economy you can lean the engine out um, the airplanes tend to fly a bit faster when they're higher as well so we'll go and uh, give Rick a quick wave Absolutely, yeah. It's um, it's fast. It's reasonably economical because of, of how fast you're going. Um, it's comfy. You can fly it in and out of quite small strips. So it's, it's perfect, really. Seriously, the only way to fly. I could get quite used to being a passenger and being flown about, but really, I just can't wait to get up there and fly myself.